Do you have an entrepreneurial spirit and wish to start your own factory? To make use of the resources in your vicinity and to create jobs within the community you live in? It doesn't take deep pockets to start your own factory. All you need to take the first step is the right information. In this series, we will talk about how to safely develop your own products with scalability and efficiency in mind, starting small without the risk of a heavy investment, but also being ready to increase production capacity to meet bigger opportunities. We will also take you through the processes of an actual food factory, get tips from mentors, and introduce you to suppliers and vendors who will help see you through to the finish line. What makes this series different? is that after setting up factories and projects for over 20 years, I've set up my own food factory in Indonesia, and I'm about to give you a no-holds-barred look inside. Welcome to the Manufacturing Solutions channel. As some of you may know, we've been posting videos for a number of years mostly to support our clients with inspections, training guides, and introduction to new equipment, but also to educate our viewers about new projects and equipment for innovative ideas to start industries. We've also posted a lot of educational videos, which would inspire our viewers to start their own industries. These include a wide range of projects for snack foods, energy bars, beverages, confectionaries, cosmetics, and other specialized fast-moving consumer goods. As of 2021, we've garnered over 10,000 subscribers and almost 2 million views. We've received hundreds of inquiries, which we followed up with consultations and proposals. However, until now, I've never reached out to viewers on this platform with any commentary or shared the information which I'm about to right now. So why now? Let me take a moment to offer a short personal introduction. PanAsia Tech is a Hong Kong-based trading company specializing in industrial procurement for FMCG manufacturing industries, for clients mostly based in Sub-Saharan Africa. Over the past 20 years, I've had the pleasure of working with a wide variety of investors in this sector, including suppliers of equipment, raw materials, and packaging consumables. We've worked on projects of all shapes and sizes, some of which we handle basic procurement, and for others, we've handled complete turnkey solutions. During this period, I've been exposed to people from all walks of life, not just investors and entrepreneurs, but also engineers, designers, dynamic salespeople, and others from all walks of life who've shared so much information and knowledge with me. This has been my greatest pleasure and inspiration. There are a number of channels and websites I've come across that promise to offer a complete solution, but few of them can actually scrape the surface of what is required to take your industrial project from start to finish. The exciting challenge I now face is how to structure this information that will not just be beneficial for you as an investor or business owner, but also the essential working cog within your own company. Stick around for more information right after this, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Twenty twenty was a challenging year for many people and businesses. While some people struggled to stay alive, other companies flourished and managed to find the silver lining. Was it luck or calculated business decisions? While projects in some countries came to a grinding halt, other markets flourished and new projects came to life. Let's be honest, it's been hectic and we've all had to stay quick on our feet to stay alive. For me, as a salesperson, the hardest part about this pandemic has been not being able to travel. The most lucrative part of my job is getting out there and meeting my customers, identifying their needs, and figuring out cost-effective solutions. Every year, I would not only visit trade shows around the world. As a company, we've also participated in a number of trade shows, including ProPack, DrinkTech, PrintPack, 
and many others. These by far have been the most enjoyable and educational experiences for me because I got to meet you face to face. A lot of you have sat across the table from me as we've discussed new projects, shared ideas, and even personal stories. Right now, that is what I miss most, that personal touch of meeting you face to face. I've had over a year to contemplate those discussions and come up with a way that can offer small business solutions to those of you who matter. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm knocking down the walls and giving you access to the widest variety of manufacturing insight that exists on any channel. You will have the opportunity to ask questions about any topic that pertain to your own project and your personal interests and suggest focus topics that will be curated by the PAT team. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the PAT logo right over there. Now please stay tuned for a very special treat because So, what did I get up to in the last year? Well, I decided to put my money where my mouth is and start my own food factory. It's been a hell of a ride, guys. This experience has given me so much insight into what you go through. And I'm really excited to share this with you. Everything from product development down to releasing our own products into the market. Without any food product in mind, I created a dedicated space where I could lean into my friends and partners in the food industry to create bold and exciting new products that should be affordable and scalable. We are only a year and a half into the project and we've already launched four new products into the local market for trial. Why did I do this? Well, I wanted to see for myself what my clients go through, how difficult it is to come up with investment for machinery. I wanted to put myself in your shoes. I wanted to make money. I wanted to build my own brands. I'm so excited to share more information with you about the most challenging and rewarding project I've taken on thus far. You will see firsthand what it takes to build your own culinary creations into a household brand name. Join me and my team at PAT Manufacturing Solutions as we blast open the doors to more profitable opportunities. And once again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you can find out when our next episode comes out. We have a lot of work to do. Let's start now. Are you ready to take a look inside Small Batch Creations? Come with me.